What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon, the crypto universe. Today is Monday, August 7th. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about three things, and that is regards to D-Gods, the Dust Token, and Utes that is on Polygon. We're gonna be talking about these three because there is an event coming up on August 9th, which is the release of D-Gods Season 3. We're gonna get some sneak peeks around the artwork and also apparently some other things that we need to cover in this video so that you can best strategize what you need to do after August 9th. Now, will there be a dip? Will there be a pump in the floor price of D-Gods, Dust Token, or Utes? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about that. I'm gonna share with you my personal opinion, so be sure to stick around to the very end to hear my conclusion and statement. So be sure to like the button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to join our Patreon page, and most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email, so please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So right now, the DGAS floor price on OpenSea has actually pumped to around 9.4 Ethereum. Now, these are the DGAS right now that are on the market market floor and you got to be sure that if you are looking to buy one of these d-gods that they actually have points because some of these don't have points but some of them have minimal points like this one has a hundred and one thousand points when really right now the max points i think people are trying to earn right now per d-god is roughly around three hundred and fifty thousand points or more but please, right now I've been hearing that these points, it doesn't matter if you have very little or a lot, it just matters that you actually own one of these D-Gods and just start staking them to earn the points. Now, when we look at the overall sales on OpenSea in terms of the volume being transacted on there, we're seeing that, wow, I've seen more activity on OpenSea than I've actually seen the past week or so. And that's because season three for D-Gods is coming up in just two days. So right now I'm actually seeing a lot of buying pressure Seriously, many orders within the past few hours that I've just been awake this morning. So I definitely think people are just accumulating as much as they see the floor being listed up. But when we look at Blur, Blur right now has actually jumped. We, we used to see this floor price hover around 8.9 to around 9 Ethereum. It jumped up to around 9.27. So not too much. I mean, from what I see, there's roughly around like 45 D-Gods, maybe even less than that, that are on the floor before we can even reach 10 uh, Ethereum floor price. Now, when we look at the sales on Blur, obviously there's going to be much more sales compared to OpenSea, and you can see here that there are a lot more within the minutes to hour. So let's keep that in mind. Now, next up, we got to talk about some in real life events because recently, Killer Three, which is the basketball team that D Gods owns, well, they just won against the Power team in the recent Big Three game. And right now, Killer Three won by 51 to 46. Killer Three is now the number one ranking team in the Big Three. That's how crazy this is. Yes, it's not just some underrated team. This team is actually really legit, and D Gods owns the team. So that just goes to show you how beneficial these events are. And these are the people that attended the event who own a D God or Ute. And also, they brought some of their family and friends to come along with them. The Killer Three hat is an exclusive merchandise product that's only available to D God or U holders. So that's really cool to see that this growth is happening substantially. Frank did have something to say about that. In regards to this video, they, he basically expressed that initially when they started D Gods, it was about zero focus on local events. But over the past two years, They've seen that D Gods has become more than just an NFT, but all of a sudden, all these startup events, all these little local events start happening using the D Gods as a center hub for people to connect. And now there are over 100 plus communities around the world starting different things if it's regarding sports, if it's local meetup, if it's breakfast spots, if it's drinks, whatever it is around the world. He is seeing, Frank and the team have been seeing that this has been growing nonstop organically. And that's what's something that they're gonna be focusing on within this collection. So in terms of collectible IP or intellectual properties and in real life events, DGAS stands next to these other blue chips, such as Pudgy Penguins, that uses their NFTs for, for also in real life toys, toys out there in the market that people can buy off of Amazon or in stores. And that's a great way of them using Web3 to Web2. And also Doodles, which is also an NFT collection that's recently collaborated with Crocs to create limited edition Crocs for people who own the NFT and giving them access to these colorful Crocs. And then VFriends, you know, taking NFTs, but also bridging them out to in real life events where holders can meet up, compete and play cards together. But the cards are also collectibles. So obviously DGAS is standing to be the next IP in that compared to all these other collections that have been on Ethereum for much longer, even Board Ape Yacht Club. Now, we also got to look at what's been trending with DGAS lately in terms of sales. So if you look at this chart over the past 30 days, you could see on Blur and on OpenSea that DGAS have actually seen an uptrend 
uptrend in interest and also buying interest as well. So we're seeing this up 4% compared to most collections such as Bored Ape, Mutant Apes, and also Azuki. D-Gods is the only one that's been trending upwards. And that's kind of the thing with D-Gods. It's been like this ever since the dawn of time with D-Gods, ever since it was on Solana, that we've just been seeing every, after every FUD storm, if it's the FTX hack, if it's FUD around the Ute list or the Ute NFTs, or even the dead gods. I mean, regardless, we've only seen D-Gods hedge against all those different events that have been completely black swans that nobody saw coming. So will this happen? for d -God season three on August 9th. What will happen afterwards? I'm gonna share with you that thought at the very end of the video. But let's talk about the Dust Token. Dust Token has actually been pumping. It's actually around almost $2.50 as you can see here. It's just been continuously pumping to the upside. We saw it not too long ago around $2.20. Now over the past week, it's gone much more higher than that. Now, when we go to trading view, I wanted to share people this specific thing, which is the dust token on the weekly time frame. Weekly, not daily, not monthly, weekly. And as you can see here on the weekly chart, we've only seen the dust token in an ascending trend. We've only formed higher lows here, here, and here. Now, what I'm seeing here is that eventually, hopefully by August 9th or within the week that we can see. Right now we're in this wedge and we're waiting to see if we could break upwards or downwards. If we break upwards, then possibly we could revisit levels to around $3 and higher, even up to as high as $4.50. But if we break below this and we go below this EMA ribbon, then our only support level is around $1.50. But again, this is the weekly. This could be a slow drag on from what we know. But again, this is just based on what charts I'm seeing here because I'm using the Fibonacci retracement as well because Fibonacci retracement says that around the 50% level, which is right around here, is our support level. If we go below 50 cents, which I don't know if we're going to ever, uh, we could see price levels even drop further down than that. But again, we're here to show an unbiased opinion of where this chart can go for the dust token. Now, let's not waste any time. Let's talk about the UNFTs because UNFTs have actually been doing a little bit more interesting over the past couple days. Now the floor price actually hasn't jumped up or even dropped down based on our last video, but it's actually at a floor price of around 1.8 Ethereum or 1.79 Ethereum. Now, if we look at the lowest floor price, you know, for a NFT, it's roughly around $3,200. Now, if we look at the sales that have been happening over the past couple hours, not so bad. People don't know what to speculate off of the NFTs. But then again, there's not much news around Ute Season 2, other than that we're going to hear some news around Ute Season 2 on August 9th. And also, that's another factor, is that not a lot of people know how to buy NFTs on Polygon. So usually people don't know how to buy things on Polygons because these NFTs are actually bought with Ethereum or wrapped Ethereum. So there are videos out there to help you describe how to buy a UNFT on Polygon, but it's pretty simple. You just need to send your Ethereum from a centralized exchange, but make sure to send it to a Polygon network, not an Ethereum network when you're sending it over to your MetaMask. And that way you can buy your UNFT with your wrapped Ethereum. And it's gonna show up as wrapped Ethereum rather than Ethereum, so keep that in mind. Now, what we need to know is that Utes, back in the day when there was a Ute list, over on September 12th of 2022, it was gaining the attention and gaining a lot of traction with the trading volume. It even made headlines on Fortune News. This is another example of do not fade the founder, do not fade the collection or the community because it garners the attention of US publishing articles and news outlets. That's huge in my opinion. And also we gotta see other things, which is Kevin Degods, who is now in Tokyo, or hopefully he's come back yet, but he's in Tokyo meeting up with different Degod and new holders, and he even introduced some other people to literally buy a U as we speak on the floor. So that's Kevin networking and meeting people around the world. And also we gotta talk about other things. So Frank shared with people that over a year ago, scholarships or the Ute list was announced and people were pretty bearish or bullish on the specific item. But no, nobody believed him. Nobody believed that they would deliver this and that it would be worth the wait, but it was. And that's when we saw Utes develop this marketing strategy that was completely organic, spread across crypto Twitter like a crazy head bomb. And also, people were buying these loots well above the floor price. I mean, just getting on the Ute list was one of the most exciting things, so I cannot wait to see what season two is gonna be. But and also, I wanna just ask people, you know, when August 9th does come around, will you NFTs hold a floor price above or below 3.33 Ethereum? And a majority of you, out of the 50 votes, majority of you said it would be above 3.33 Ethereum or exactly 3.33 Ethereum. But again, some of you, 42% of you said it would go below that. So let that be a determining factor if you're going to 
buy in now or buy in later or not buy in at all. And now we gotta talk about other things around Utes and month potential of Utes compared to other blue chips of how Utes is performing. And right now, this was something that I screenshotted back on August 3rd, around four days ago. And Utes was gaining a lot of traction in terms of buying volume. People were buying these things compared to mutant apes, but has a 20,000 NFT circulating supply while Utes has less than that, around 13 to 15,000. So again, do your own due diligence before buying into this. I just wanna share with you statistics. Now, I wanna end this video by just sharing with you what Frank has said recently around how he wants to give back to the community. Now, Frank has said in this thing around, he's excited for the next experiment. And that's regards to something that we've never seen before. Now, he's a huge fan of Mr. Beast, who is a YouTube influencer, who basically takes a lot of the funds or takes this model of when he makes money off of a video, instead of like investing that or just spending that on something within the company, invest it back into the community. So what Mr. Beast does is that he takes the money or residuals from one of his videos and just spends all that money on the next video. And that's why he keeps developing more followers, why his videos literally get millions of views because he just gives back to the community. So in some way, Frank kind of wants to do that and we don't know what that's gonna look like. But if you go over to the DLabs website, which is the literally the DLabs.xyz website, which is considered the roadmap of DGods and Utes, one of the first things that you see on that website is this post right here, which is something that Frank had said. One of my biggest inspirations, bro, just given free S, free, free. Why is that important? It's because in this video, Joe Rogan asked Mr. Beast, why do you even do this? Why do you even give things away? He says, why do I need this? Well, I don't need it. He, he just wants to give it away to people. So again, like it's very interesting. We, we don't know what to speculate off of what's gonna happen on August 9th, but I'm sure enough, it's gonna be one of those things that's gonna be changing the way people expect NFT upgrades, NFT releases, NFT news updates, NFT hyped events. August 9th is gonna be something that we probably have never, never seen before. And I wanna share with you another thing is that part two of D God's interview with Frank and Mark has not been released yet. I think that's going to be released after August 9th or August 9th. So be sure to subscribe to his channel to understand more of what we could expect. And I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more detail there. And this is all strategized. And also August 9th is just two days away. So keep in mind, this is very exciting and don't fade on this collection. Pay attention to the market floor. Will it dip? Will it rise in floor price? Now, as a conclusion, I promised you I would share with you my points of view. What do I think what's gonna happen to D Gods? Now, in terms of D Gods, on August 9th, a lot is hanging on this August 9th announcement. Now, if there was going to be a dip in the floor, I do imagine that this could dip to around seven to six Ethereum at the lowest. If that happens, I'm just sure people are gonna be accumulating those NFTs, even if it's stretched out over a month, people are gonna be accumulating those NFTs. And I do expect that that floor price is gonna return back to this level of 9.4 Ethereum or nine Ethereum. But in the bullish case scenario, I don't think we're gonna see floor prices like this because if the bullish news comes from Frank that it just sounds like it's just a no-brainer to own these NFTs, then this won't be at this price anymore. And we can see levels of this reaching to, say for instance, in the short to medium term, or maybe just within the year, hopefully, around the board ape level prices, which is around 30 Ethereum. So keep that in mind. Now, and regarding the dust token, the dust token could be something completely different. I actually think there could be a liquidity dump of this token. That's my personal opinion, right? I don't really know. The dust token hasn't been announced of what this utilization will be but people have been speculating that the dust token you're going to need around 333 of these dust tokens to upgrade your d god season 2 which is the dead gods in the or d god season 3. now that's not validated that's not true as of today but if that's the case then you will need this token and you can see this token pump to the upside now in regards to utes i definitely think utes is undervalued i actually think that this floor price can only dump to around 1.4 1.5 ethereum but if that does happen that's the time to accumulate but again we don't know what's going to happen with Ute season two announcement that's going to happen on August 9th. But I just gave you my bearish scenario. My bullish scenario is that it's just going to hover around this floor price and we could see some people like taking their profits. So be sure to scout out for some great trades. I think this NFT collection has the most upside in my personal opinion. And I definitely think the returns on investment could be a lot stronger. But again, it's just my opinion, not financial advice. So with that said, those are my thoughts around D Gods, the Dust Token and Utes. Let me know your thoughts down below on all three of these different assets. I wanna hear them because we'll cover it in our next video and I cannot wait to read them. So with that said, be sure to like the button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls and buy and sell orders on both NFTs and cryptocurrencies, especially around Utes, DGods, and the Dust Token. Until then, see you guys and girls next time.